Hello students. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the establishment of equation of motion with the help of differentiation and integration. Equation of motion. Differentiation and integration. We know that first equation of motion. We know that velocity for first equation of motion, uh, we know that uh, V is equal to dx by dt and acceleration A is equal to dv by dt and uh, the dv is equal to a dt. And now at time t is equal to 0, initial velocity is u and after time t, the final velocity v, then integrate the above formula dv is equal to a dt. In the range, the limit of velocity is initial u to v dv is equal to acceleration a is constant and time is 0 to t dt then v is equal to dv integration of dv is v from u to v is equal to a integration of dt is t it is also from 0 to t open the uh, limit v minus u, v is equal to u plus at. In this first equation, if initial time is not t equal to 0, it is t1 and final time. Similarly, initial velocity is v1 and final velocity Then we can integrate the dv from v1 to v2 and a dt from t1 to t2. So here equation uh, will be v2 minus v1 is equal to a into t2 minus t1 or v2 is equal to v1 plus a t2 minus. Now Come to the second equation of motion. We know that the velocity v is equal to dx by dt and dx is equal to v dt. For initial time, t is equal to 0. The displacement x is also 0. And final time, t is equal to t. It means after t time, displacement x is equal to s then integrate the above equation we know that dx is v dt means v is equal to u into dt or dx is equal to u dt plus a t dt integrate uh, the above equation in the range dx integration of dx uh, from 0 to s, integration of 0 to t, u dt, plus a, t dt, 0 to t. Now dx, integration of dx is x, it is from 0 to s, integration of dt is t only, u and t, it is from 0 to t, plus a, Integration of t is t square by 2, 0 to t. So, it is equal to s minus 0 is equal to u into t minus 0 plus a by 2 t square minus 0. 
So the equation, second equation will be S is equal to UT plus half AT square. This is the second equation. If X1 is the distance covered displacement at time, at initial time T1 and X2 is at final time T2, then we can integrate dx in uh, T, sorry, x1 to x2 is equal to u dt from t1 to t2, t2 and plus a t dt from t1 to t2 also. So it is x2 minus x1 and u into t2 minus t1 plus a by 2 t2 square minus t1. This will be the second equation in this. Now come to the third equation of motion. Acceleration a is equal to dv by dt. It is acceleration is equal to dv by dx into dx by dt v dv by dx or a dx is equal to v dv a dx is equal to v dv now at displacement x is equal to 0 initial velocity and at x is equal to s final velocity to v then integrate it a dx from 0 to s sorry uh, it is from uh, it is u to v v dv now integration of dx is x it is 0 to s and it, integration of v is v square by 2 from u to v now a into s minus 0 is equal to 1 by 2 v square minus u square so 2 a s is equal to v square minus u square and v square will be equal to u let v1 is velocity at at a starting at a displacement x1 similarly v2 is the velocity at x2 displacement then a dx from x1 to x2 v dv from v1 to v2 it will be equal to a x2 minus x1 is equal to v square by 2 v2 square by 2 minus v1 square by 2 so we can write v2 square minus v1 square is equal to 2a x2 minus x1 that is the another form of third equation of motion